Hey guys, welcome back to the channel Daughter of Increase. My name is Nate Denise for those of you who are new to the channel and I post videos every Tuesday and Thursday all about my faith, God, Christ, and expanding the kingdom of God. You're seeing me in the same outfit again and I apologize. You guys know I record about two, three videos every time I record. But um, yeah, today's video is going to be an interesting one. And let me sip on some water real quick. Okay, so um... This is going to be a kind of like walkthrough of how I pack my Bible bag. This here is my Bible bag. It is pink and brown or chocolate. And it has handles here. But it also comes with the shoulder strap. Of course, you can just hook it on here behind but i barely use it um unless i have like a lot of stuff to bring on a sunday and um this is from I'm trying to grab the um thing okay so this is called the book and bible cover from zondervan and it's in a size large you guys can see um it is okay so it features a detachable interior bible case it has leather like accent it has multiple packets and it fits um the a lot of study bibles basically and mine is in pink i did order one for my mother in all black but um of course i had to get pink because i'm a girl so again quickly show you guys here is the bible case bible bag um and it's pretty bulky so i'm going to show you guys how i pack my bible bag and what i keep in my bible bag um, I definitely just keep my woman's study Bible in there, which is the one that I actually previously showed you a, or rather previously posted a review on. I keep that Bible at all times in my Bible bag because this Bible bag is what I take to church. Um, so if you want to see how I pack my Bible bag, what I put in there, stay tuned. Okay guys, so like I said, here is the Bible cover case and again, here it is. It is a book and Bible cover from Zondervan in a large size. And um, it tells you what kind of Bibles it fits. So if you have the Life Application Study Bible, the Quest Study Bible, or really any kind of Bible here, it tells you here the size and the features of it. And mine is in pink. I did order my mother one in black. And every, like, it comes in complete all black. This one is pink with chocolate kind of brown. Um, leather like accents which I like the handles are pretty sturdy and it does come with a shoulder strap which you connect here which I like how they have that hidden but um let me try to give you guys a few here are the zippers and they have little crosses on them I think they're so cute and if you wanted to you could get like a lock to lock it either on here or through the little crosses I think it's cute and um, here's the back of it. Nothing's crazy. So I'm going to start with, um, I guess, what I have in the packet. So I keep these little one-point markers that I got off of eBay a while ago. They're basically mini page flags that I keep in here um, to mark off different things that I want to remember in the Bible, which you'll see how I use that shortly. Um, I have an extra pen in here. Then I have post-it notes and some little arrows. These are Hema sticky note arrows. This is a post-it note from Target. Came out a while ago from their little dollar section. This, these are some birthday cakes and macaroon sticky notes that I got off of eBay. Hema hearts that I got off of Etsy and then this one I got from Dollar Tree So I just keep a variety of sticky notes because you never know when you need to jot something down You never know what might call out to you or pop up at you so You know and I just keep all that here in the front because I don't really go to it a lot But um, yep, that's pretty much it. So and it's a big enough, you know, wide enough pocket, if you guys can see. You can really store a lot in here if you need it to. So I like that. So unzipping this and opening it up. 
I'm not sure if you're going to be able to get the whole thing in a frame. But, um, there it is. And there are two things that I'm missing from this, which I'll show you sec in a second. If I can just grab them. Okay, so. First off, we have the actual shoulder strap, which... Try to get this to autofocus. The shoulder strap, which is pretty long. It doesn't adjust, which I can find bothersome at times just because I'm petite, but it's not so long that it'll drag. So that's the strap, and it's really good, sturdy material. And I normally just keep that here if I need it. Here is the Bible cover that it comes with. Let me just bring it over this way. Um, here's the Bible cover that it comes with. It's the same kind of material with the pink and chocolate brown leather accents with silver um, hardware going on. And here's my Bible. If I can get this to focus just a little bit for you guys. This is just my Bible. And you guys saw the Bible review that I did, um, and as well as a tour. So, you know, sometimes I have um, stuff just stuck in here throughout. So that's pretty much it. And yeah, and in the back, that's what it looks like. And it's just stuck in here with Velcro so I can take it out when I need to. Just close that back up and get to this side here. So I normally have this um, gel highlighter here in yellow. I literally just stick it here next to the pencil just because I've, there's something that pops out at me in church I like to highlight it in yellow um, I don't always keep it in there because I do use this in my Bible study sessions and stuff at home so on Sundays I do put it back in here so it would be here so just pretend it was already there and I just keep a regular pencil nothing special and then a black and blue ink pen of course and a 0.7 or 0.5 millimeter pen because those are my favorite to write with so here is where the little notepad is, and um, these are just notes back from January that I need to actually take out, so I'm going to rip this out. And um, I literally just jot my notes down in this, and then when I get home, I take them out and rewrite my notes in my face journal kind of war binder thing, which you guys did see a video of. Um, you can click the eye on the screen to check out that, but this is a notepad, and I just slip it back in here. And then in this pocket here, I normally have a bunch of things. So I normally have envelopes here to put my ties and offering in. So I'm actually going to stick these in here because I had ran out. Um, this I have cling in here, which is a DVD study from Kim Cash Tate. It goes along with the book. And I have it in there because I need to give it to one of the young to one of the women at my church um i gave a bunch of the women at my church the book but one woman in particular she's like really studying the book in depth and because i have so many copies of this dvd study i figured i would take it to church to give her a copy of it because she's loving the book and every time i see her in church we end up discussing the book so i have this in here to give it to her i haven't been in church in a while um but you know i have it in there just to give to her and then the last thing that i take when I am going to church is my prayer journal and um, this is a paper clip I actually just made yesterday and it's literally just a sticker I traced the outline of the um, elephants and okay I can open it up no because of some stuff but I'm um, here it is I basically hot glued it to a white paper clip and then trace the outline so that I could have um, some construction paper on the back to not make it sticky and it made a cute paper clip and I just keep it clipped here to the page that I need to go to and normally just stick it inside here and then everything is in there um, if we get any type of handouts or if I go to another church and they have handouts I stick them in there um, sometimes I'll take the book that I'm reading just in case I need something to read in the car or if we have time in between services I'll just stick a book on top and then I'll be good to go so that's pretty much how I pack my um, Bible bag and I literally just use this for when I'm going to church or to a service or something like that um, when I'm in the house you guys know I have like 30 different Bibles out while I'm studying so I normally just either take the Bible case the Bible book oh my god the Bible cover out of the bag or I literally probably will just take out the whole Bible from the actual case and cover and go to the table but um, I hope this video was helpful for you guys I mean I don't really do a lot with my Bible case Bible bag 
um, literally just keep the basics in here. The only things that I take out every now and then are my gel highlighter in yellow and my prayer drawing because I feel like I just need to keep my prayer drawing on me at all times. I don't carry it in my purse. Um, I probably should, but maybe the next one I'll carry in my purse. But, um, yeah, let me just stick this back on. And I just think this elephant is so stinking cute. Like, isn't, is it? oh, sorry, isn't she so cute? And she actually matches. <laughs> I just realized that they match. That was so girly. But, um, yeah, that's pretty much it, you guys, for this video. So, if you guys have a Bible case or Bible bag or Bible cover, let me know how you guys set it up, what you put in yours to keep at all times. And, um, yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. I will be doing a, um journaling bible kind of accessory bag video because i do have a bag set up with stickers and index cards and post-it notes that i use when i'm doing my bible studies and stuff like that so i'll do that kind of video soon but um other than that that is it for this video and i'll see you guys in the next one again thank you guys for subscribing watching and all of that great stuff and i'll see you soon bye